What's up guys, welcome back to Tech Phantom. And in this video, we'll be taking a deep comparison between the new processor launched by the MediaTek, which is the MediaTek Dimensity 810, and the older Snapdragon 732G processor, which has been leading the best power processor under the 20,000 rupees. Now the MediaTek Dimensity 810 comes with the newer phone, Realme 8S and Ilava Agni. 5G smartphone and also in the Redmi Note 11 series and not only that the 732 was available in the Redmi Note 10 series so let's find out which is the ult best ultimate smartphone processor you can buy also you can also check out the playlist in the link in the description below or in the card above for other processor comparison so let's get started So starting off with the launch date, the Snapdragon 732G processor is almost exactly a year older than the 810 and which makes a difference over here but the next thing also makes much more difference. The CPU architecture of 810 MediaTek Dimensity is octa-core and the 732 is also octa-core but at cryo 470 at 2.2GHz. Now speaking about the CPU cores which you actually find on this processor are two cores of ARM Cortex A76 which is at 2.2 GHz and six core of Cortex A55 at 2 GHz in the Snap Media Dimensity 810 whereas the Snapdragon also has a similar one with these as the two cores of Cryo 470 Gold and six cores of Cryo 470 Silver. Now this round goes towards the Media Dimensity and next talking about the architecture or the design of the processor fabrication then the MediaTek Dimensity 810 is again much more power efficient than the Snapdragon 732G as it comes with a 6 nanometer over the 8 nanometer. Now this thing indeed make a difference in this processor too but talking about the gaming experience for the GPU powerhouse then the MediaTek Dimensity 810 comes with the ARM Mali G57 MC2 GPU whereas the Snapdragon comes with the Arduino 618 at 825 MHz. Now talking about the machine learning and AI artificial intelligence which you get with the smartphone is that the MediaTek comes with a facial recognition engine whereas the Snapdragon has Hexagon 688. Now maximum RAM support which both of these processor can support up to is of 16GB LPDDR4X with the MediaTek Dimensity 810 and the Snapdragon supports a lower maximum maxed out RAM at 8GB of RAM of LPDDR4X but with a lower frequency too. Now maximum display support which you can get with these both of these processor is all about FHD plus at 120Hz which means the 1080p resolution at maximum at 120 refresh rate but with the Qualcomm Snapdragon it's also again a different one with a full HD plus at 90 hertz of refresh rate but you also get a support of up to HDR10 content on this processor. Now talking about the camera support with the maximum camera resolution which they support the Qualcomm leads this part and as the media dimensity can support up to 64 megapixel of a single camera and 16 megapixel of dual cameras whereas the Snapdragon has a better maxed out camera resolution which it can support is up to 192 megapixel of camera and 22 megapixels of dual camera. Now maximum video compatibility which is you can record videos on these processor are also a bit of a different one as you, on Dimensity you can record up to 2K at 30 FPS, 1080p at 60 and slow motions at 240 FPS. Whereas in the Snapdragon 732G you can take 4K at 30 FPS. On the Bluetooth connectivity side and another Wi-Fi connectivity and modem, it the Snapdragon comes with the Bluetooth 5.0 as same as the MediaTek Dimensity 810. But the 5G modem is available only on the MediaTek Dimensity 810 and the Snapdragon doesn't come with the 5G modem. Now on the Wi-Fi connectivity side, the MediaTek Dimensity 810 comes with a later one, the Wi-Fi 6 and the Snapdragon comes with the older one, Wi-Fi 5. Not only that, the quick charging speed again differs in both of these as the MediaTek Dimensity comes with the Pump Express charging and the Qualcomm Snapdragon comes with the 732 of a quick charge 4+. Now wrapping up this round with the Antutu and the Geekbench scores of both of these processors, then MediaTek Dimensity crushes the Snapdragon 732 with a 
score of 83,87,000, whereas the 3 lakhs comparison to the Snapdragon. On the Geekbench score side, again, the, we see a better improvement with the immediate density with a single core of performance of 626 and multi core of 1932. Whereas against it's a 10 to 20% downgrade on the Snapdragon 732 when compared to the MediaTek Demon City 810. Now overall what we find in this video in this comparison was that the MediaTek Demon City is indeed a better processor and a better choice than the Snapdragon 732 whether it's a 5G or even this pure GPU 4 cores or the performance of this phone. Now what do you actually think about these comparison and if you are waiting for some specific processor comparison which you are expected to and you are waiting for that then let us know in the comment section below and I'll see you in the way next one. Thanks for watching.